And now it's back to the 1970s for the Saturday Tea Time Bonanza with Jane Farrow and Chris Maycroft. So what's happening? Well, the news is overrunning. We, we've been asked to shorten the show by five minutes so the rest of the evening's programming can be back on track. Well, well you know, yeah, can't they trim one of the later programmes? No, Chris, no, no, no. They've all been pre-recorded. We're going out live. Oh. It's far easier for us to take a five-minute cut. Apparently they can't cut the whole thing. But, but... But, I mean, it's not fair. I mean, the view in public will be seeing less of me. Yeah, pretentious prat. They only watch it to see Derek. OK, places. Places, please, everyone. Places. <sighs> So, uh, hello everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of the uh, Tea Time Saturday Bonanza, with me, Chris Maycroft. Now, uh, Jane can't be with us again today, this week, but uh, uh, evidently she's visiting her sick grandmother. <laughs> she's been dead ten so, years. So, Granny, from everyone here at, at the Saturday Tea Time Bonanza, get well soon. On with the show, uh, which tonight will be a bit shorter because of the news overrunning. I know, but not to worry, because all of the usual crew are here, Mr Masterbrain, Derek, Guy, Sammy, and our special guest, who is a man who makes school meals. Now, first off this week... <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. It's all right, Chris. It's all right. I've got it. Yeah, I've got it, you can calm down. Yeah, well, you can just get rid of it, OK? Gross, I hate them. They're, they're all squishy. They're, they're, they're one of my pet hates. I didn't realise you don't like grapes. <laughs> but you drink wine, Chris. I mean, that's made from grapes. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's totally different, OK? So, what shall I do with this grape? Shall I eat it? Shall I squish it? Or shall I just throw it at Chris? <laughs> Just say a very rude word. That's his career finished. <laughs> if, if you hadn't been pestering about it, it wouldn't have happened. Oh dear, I do believe that Uncle Chris is in a temper. <laughs> we'll just clear off your pathetic idiot. Uh, Derek? Uh, Derek? Derek? Get up, Derek. Uh, uh, Derek, stop messing about. D Derek, we have a show to do. Uh, Derek, are you all right? Uh, Derek, uh, oh hell, uh, uh, someone come and help. Uh, Derek, I, uh, he's not there, he's not there. Uh, uh, can someone call a doctor? Uh, someone call an ambulance? Oh my God, I think I've killed him, I think I've killed him. Uh, look, it, it wasn't me, it wasn't me honest. Wasn't yes, me. you did, we all saw help. you hit him. <laughs> Go get lost. That was not funny. No. <laughs> Right, let's go out, let's go out to Dice <laughs> Cremento for a song. Go on then, guys. <laughs> oh, you go in there.
Just what I wanted to hear. Anyway, let's go over to the settee where we'll talk to our uh, special guest this week, okay? He wants to die. Get Chris to hit him. Uh, other than me, or apart from Derek, is a show just full of losers. Well, two months ago I was working on the Sweeney. I was doing panorama. But now your name's Nigel, isn't it? And you prepare uh, meals for uh, school children. Should, should, should be drinking the show? Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, yeah, it's cool. Uh, uh, so, uh, how do you go about preparing geez, school mate. dinners? Well, children have to be provided with a well-balanced and nutritious diet. But we're constrained, you see, by their financial mm. budget, that we have to look for best value. Mm. So, what, what would be the usual dinner? Well, of course, you have to have meat. Potatoes. And I believe in giving uh, one or two vegetables, such as peas, cabbage, or, or carrots. Oh, why, right, thank you very much. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. I believe in giving children a awesome dessert, such as rice pudding. Uh, well, kids, I mean, does that sound like a great meal to you? Bunk up, Chris. Come on, bunk up, bunk up. <laughs> right then. <laughs> well, OK, all right, mate. Now, what about hamburgers and chips? Would we like to see those on the menu? Would we, kids? Come on, yeah, come on, come on. So, why can't we have those to eat? Well, we're trying to give children a variety, but with good, wholesome food. All oh, right. Well, what about a curry? I'll have a good curry after the show. <laughs> ah, I believe in good old British food. None of the foreign rubbish, such as uh, moussaka. Yeah, yes, well, uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to uh, leave it there. Uh, uh, thanks for uh, coming in, Nigel. Yeah, bye, Trees. Oh, <laughs> Where did you get that from, man? Oh, well, it's pretty good to watch it. He's also that one, are you? Yeah. Derek. Is he all right? Is he all right? Don't worry about him. He's a sad boy. What's a bit wrong with his shirt? Right, uh, now, I uh, hear a whistling sound coming from down below. Derek, have you... Oh no, I've left him at home. Um, uh, well, uh, it seems that Sammy can't be with us uh, this week, so you'll just have to pretend he's here. So, um, hello Sammy, uh, what have you been up to recently? So where's the mole this week? Uh, I've left him at home. Anyway, he's a slave. You have to pretend he's here. So, what have you been doing recently, Sammy? Well, Chris, I I've been having lots of sleeps and I've also been looking for food. Have you been scavenging around the forest? No, silly. I just walked to the fridge. Quit <laughs> it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so, what did you find in there? I found a hair. Oh, I hate that when you find a hair on your food. No, not that kind of hair, but a hair, like a rabbit. Oh, somebody shoot me now. So, uh, what did you do with a hair? Oh, I raced it. You raced it? And did you win? No, he beat me by a hair's breath. <laughs> oh, very funny, Sammy. Very funny. What's so pathetic. So, uh, now, now we move back over to the settee where Mr. Masterbrain has been patiently waiting. Oh. Right then. Uh, no, then, Mr. Masturbates. Here are some questions you have been with. asked by the uh, studio audience. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, Terry wants to know when was the first FA Cup final held? Uh, 1872. Okay, right. Uh, Wendy wants to know uh, who invented paint. 
no one. They just s s smeared it on the wall. Oh, right. Um, no name on this one, but why is Chris such a twat? <laughs> Look, it wasn't very funny the first time. Uh, finally, uh, it's uh, Georgina wants to know how they make paper from wood. Pulp it up. Right, thank you, Mr. Maston. <laughs> Did I call you something else earlier? Sorry, I, 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 I meant Mr. <laughs> Master Brain. So now let's head back to the desk because it's that part of the show which you all like. It's quiz time. Right there. Well, now then, boys and girls. Now then, hang on, hang on, hang on a minute. Something special coming up here. Now then, boys and girls, have you ever seen a beaver eat a biscuit? <laughs> hey, right, like this. There's a nice beaver on that sound system which I'm really on chewing with. Derek, I don't think we've got time for this. Remember, the show, the news over around. You want to see a beaver eat a biscuit? Don't you tell me to do it. Look, we've run out of time. Can we have the children brought in? Where are the children? Um, Bye, Chris. Um, oh. Right now, uh, you're uh, uh, Billy and uh, Katie, aren't you? No, I'm William. And I'm Catherine. But you can call me Katie if you like. Uh, OK, uh, William and uh, Katie, or Catherine, this week I... Uh, oh. It seems we've run out of time. We won't be able to have the quiz this week. Look, no, no, don't cry. Look, no, no, sh share those pencils out between you. Uh, look, anyway, we only have a few seconds left to say goodbye, then we'll see you all again next week. Goodbye.